love him too. C'est vrai, uh, je suis née ici, but I do some television in England, which means I get letters from insane people. And, uh, and, and they worry about me because I'm single. I got a letter from a lady two weeks ago and it said, Dear Catherine, she must have been 200 years old, stationary calligraphy. Dear Catherine, we saw your show and we were very worried to hear that you're single. My brother Ray is also single. Oh, great. That's why I'm single, I haven't met Ray. Men don't get these letters. Men are never getting these letters. Leonardo DiCaprio, famously single on and off for years. He and I have the same number of Oscars. Nobody's writing him. <laughs> Nobody's writing him. Ah, dear Leonardo, who recently saw your muff dive and all those supermodels on your yacht. We were so worried. My brother Ray is also single. Nobody wants to fuck Ray. <laughs> I was in a relationship and it ended. Um, we wanted one of those save the relationship babies that I keep hearing about all the time everywhere. We didn't get one. Uh, we got a regular stupid useless baby instead. <laughs> and those happen. You can have those. They do nothing to help. No. She's perfect. My daughter was planned. Poorly, as it turns out. Um, <laughs> so goddamn poorly, because uh, her father and I are not together anymore, that we are still really good friends, is a lie I tell to protect her. We are not good friends. No, not even a little bit friends. No, 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 we are enemies. But we act like we're friends. That's all you gotta do. He's a man I loved once. He will always be her dad, no matter what. I can't change that, I've tried. <laughs> Pretend like you're friends. She's six now, grammar all over the place. She starts saying like in every sentence. I like daddy's girlfriend better than you. I like her hair, I like her house. That kind of hurtful grammar. <laughs> no, I yeah, she's English. I did not see that coming at all. <laughs> she hid it very well as a baby. Couldn't tell, couldn't tell where she was from. And then all of a sudden, mommy, she started to talk like this way. At which point I thought she was just mocking them and it was fine. <laughs> like, yeah. But she still talks like this way, mommy. All day. You know when they're that age, they talk all day. They wake up talking like the house is on fire. Mommy, 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 what's the opposite to 100? What's the opposite to what? There's no opposite to 100, it's quantitative, you moron. Go back to sleep. Mommy! <laughs> mommy, mommy, they'll get you up. Mommy, you've got to make me breakfast, that's your job. You've got, she's a sociopath, she won't eat it. You've got to make me breakfast, mommy. I'm like, just eat what you can reach. I leave things. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, it's not a euphemism. Leave it around. Yeah, yeah, the British are sneaking into their own country through my body, why? <laughs> why would they do that? You think you have immigration problems? <laughs> it has been suggested I re-examine my open door policy. But <laughs> Don't tell me how to run my government. You can use that, hey, you better run my government. All over your face. Guys love it, guys love that. I do think you need a man around. Controversial, 2015, ladies. I think you need a man because right now, I, I mean, I wanna give my daughter all the experiences I could never have growing up. Like poverty and an ocean between my parents. Nailed it. But also baby animals. She loves baby animals. All little girls do, but there's usually somebody reasonable in the house saying you can't bring them in. There's nobody reasonable in our house. So I need a man just to walk in every once in a while and be like, yeah, this is too many pets and fuck back off to the pub. <laughs> Is that what you do? Is that what you're for? Because right now we got two dogs, two cats, and eight rabbits in London. I only got the dogs, I figured they kill everyone else, but they're all friends, it's a nightmare. <laughs> it's like a Disney film, but with shitting. <laughs> and now she wants carpet. Mommy, mommy, I'd like carpet to my room, mommy. Could I have carpet to my room? I said, no, no, we get carpet in this house, we gotta kill your dogs. And she thought about it. She was like, hmm. What about a rug and I kick one? No! It's not the violence that I'm about, you sick bastard. I'm 32 years old. I'm not sad about that either. We can say that on television in England. I'm 32 years old. Do you have any ladies in who are over the age of 30? Well done. We're conditioned not to cheer. Aging's cool. Aging just means you didn't die. We grow in value with every day, not the other way around. 
Would you be 19 again when you were powerless and poor when you did your own eyebrows? Would you be 19 again? <laughs> you fucking kidding me? We had a teacher in England. He got done for taking a student to Paris. Anyone who's been on holiday with a teenager knows that man did not deserve jail. He deserved a medal. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I recently went home with a 25-year-old. It was weird. I've not been with a 25-year-old since I was 14. Inappropriate. <laughs> you know what he said to me? He said, I think it's very scary that you're 32. What? I think it's very scary. I said, what are you afraid of? My disposable income? Is that what it is? I get too many manicures for you. My feet are too soft. My entire body is too electrolyzed for you, young man. Well, my house is too nice, my thread count's too high. What's my driver rude to you? <laughs> oh, maybe you think I'm gonna rush to have a baby. Well, say hello, I've got one. She is not a fan of yours, you little fuck badger. <laughs> she hates you. You told her she can't have a hamster. My parents are not together anymore. Surprise! So now I'm dating them. And it's changed this year. When, when I'm out in public with my father, all of a sudden now, at 32, People think I am his girlfriend. Or depending on the restaurant, a hooker. <laughs> who looks exactly like her client. Yes, I'm from a very niche escort agency. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I like it though. I like it when the waitresses come and ask if I'm my dad's girlfriend, because it's revealing about him. They'll be like, would you like another drink for your girlfriend? My dad's mean and my dad's big and Irish. And he's like, now you listen to me. I'm 65 years of age, and that's me daughter. <laughs> and I reckon I could do a lot better than her, and he can. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you soon.